So in Persia, I'm going to make some halva. And I'm going to make pistachio and rose water halva, and a really easy one with no sugar, because traditionally halva has a lot of white sugar in it, which is why I don't buy it, but you know, you can make it. I've got one cup of sesame seeds there that I've toasted in a pan with no oil. So you can see how oily they are anyway, so don't put oil in them. So halva is a traditional Middle Eastern dessert made from sesame seeds and you can put, and sugar usually, and put whatever you like in it. Usually my sesame seeds are on my hamburger bun on top of it as I'm biting into it. Yeah, nice. That's how I get my sesame seed intake. That doesn't work anymore, do you? Don't care. Oh, look at that. See? That's grinding it up really well, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, beautiful. And oh. I love doing that for dressings too, salad yeah. dressings. That took about four seconds. It's great. Yeah. Okay, see? So, if you put it in there, it wouldn't have, it wouldn't have worked. No, so you need to... Um, flying around. There we go. You could put it in a mortar and pestle and pound them. So this is Natvia. It's a substitute for sugar, but it's natural. It comes from a herb called stevia. And it acts almost the same as white sugar. So, but it's a bit sweeter. I've actually had a, a taste of the little little herb, which is a little tiny flower, like a chamomile flower. Mm -hmm. The tiniest bit of it, it just sort of blows you away with sweetness. It's very sweet. It's fantastic. Cool, I can smell it from here. Yeah. You know, they have been doing it for a while, making a sweetener out of stevia, but it hasn't been so good. But they have um, perfected the technique and which part of the plant they use now. They just use the little tips on the top. Okay. Beautiful. And it's really good. So raisins in there. Two tablespoons. Beautiful. Let's do some pistachios. So just give them a rough chop. Yep. First. And the nap beer is acting as my sweetness instead of the white sugar, but so is the honey. Go on. Give it to me. Oh, so oh. I would just put the honey into it, put like a bootload of honey into it. I yeah, not honey. the nap beer, sure. Oh. But I'm just showing you that you can do one or the other. Beautiful. Or both. Now, what's this? Smells like rose petals. It's rose water. Oh, it's it. very Middle Eastern yep. and I love it. You can use it as a facial toner as well. All right, so you let's put... Put it in put... bath as well, couldn't you? Yeah. yeah. One teaspoon. Oh, it's just coming together really well. Now, if, if it wasn't coming together, we'd just add a little bit more honey yeah, or more water or... Exactly. What, what are you looking, to get, looking well, for so here? So we want it to go... Sort of firm like a paste. Okay, like a yep, little ball. Yep. Really, they're just like yep. piss balls, aren't they? Oh, that's good. Like that? Do you need anything? Let's just eat it like that. I'll grab a spoon, we'll just eat it like that. I love that. Mm. The rose water is not strong, but it's just enough of it there to, to be aromatic. It's beautiful. Right? Mm. I like what I do. Easy. No longer do you have to avoid halva because there's so sugar in it. You know, I've made halva ice cream before. Oh, yum. It's nice. I love that. Yeah. So you just do that and then put it in the ice cream maker? Yeah, that's true. Beautiful. Well, you could do so that. So I won't waste any of that. I'll just have that. No, we're not going to waste mm. it. Mm. It's easier with wet hands. But, so, just make a little log out of him. Look how lovely that is, Adrian. And there's heaps of protein in them. OK. Can you roll that up for you? Oh, no, I want to do it. Because, you know what, if I start to let him do things now at the beginning of the series, <laughs> it's all over. You know it's yeah, true. you can just imagine me frying all your tofu and, uh, <laughs> and chopping up your, your soya beans. And, yeah. It's but, addictive. But, you wait. You will be doing it by the end of the series. Oh, I don't think so. Oh, do you yeah. want to make a wager on that? I'll yeah. bet you a tempo burger. Oh. Okay. I don't want to gamble that. They're, they're big steaks for me. I don't want to do that. <laughs> There's so my halva. It's like a, big, uh, like a big bonbon, isn't it? It is like a big bonbon. So I'm going to put that in the fridge for about half an hour until it sets. Fantastic. Okay, don't. Yeah. Can I cut it? Adrian, you can cut it. Do me three or four little bits, okay? With a, with a bread knife. Look at that. Cut straight through beautifully. Trust me. No, wait, I want to do this. Keep going. Oh. <laughs> I need something to cut. I know, but I want well, I'll eat this and tell you what it's like anyway. It's sort of soft and chewy. Mmm. Boovel. Boovel? Boovel. I love it. It almost makes me feel healthy. It'd be great with a big slab of cheese, some camembert cheese or something. Beautiful. Or just the way it is with a cup of tea. Ice cream. Mint tea. Mm. Yummy. OK, well, I squeezed in a healthy little Persian dessert there. I'm going to take us back the other way with yeah. some duck breast cooked with some walnuts and some pomegranate. Yum.